Hey guys, I know my soap here. Welcome back to the channel. And boy, what a big day today for Apple announcing a ton of new software in form of beta one. As anticipated, WWDC is now officially over. iOS 15 developer beta one is now available for registered developers. Alongside macOS, Monterey is available today as well. As you can see right here from Apple's developer portal, iPad OS. 15 beta 1 is now available of course watch os 8 beta 1 is here tv os uh, 15 is now available for apple tv as well so just all the platforms have been updated today in form of beta 1 with ios 15 of course for iphone and now for those who are registered developers this is available for you to download as of today if you're a public beta tester you can get ios 15 in july so about 30 days from today apple will most likely start rolling this out for public beta testers and if you want to go ahead and install it today or install it in a month i'll have a link down below to my video explaining how you can install the software on your device before it is officially released to everyone later in september to the general public so if you want to venture into the beta links will be in the description down below now i do have to say ios 15 has a ton of amazing features there's a ton of awesome innovation here but i do have to say there's also some letdowns for example there wasn't any new control center just so you guys know no new control center was announced there was no new max announced at this event and a few other features that weren't announced but there were some really awesome features announced for ios 15 and device support now you see all these ipads listed here on the screen yes all these ipads capable of running ios 14 are now capable of running ios 15 and one of the biggest surprise to everyone was that older iphones are capable of running ios 15 as well the iphone se first generation and i was so happy to be wrong on this one i did not expect this one to support ios 15 but the iphone se first gen the iphone 6s and 6s plus do support ios 15 and all these other devices listed on the screen right now so pretty much every device that runs ios 14 is capable of running ios 15 with this new software now there's a few features and options within the beta 1 that are not working keep in mind this is beta 1 so the software is nowhere near ready so the first thing i want to talk about in one of the biggest new updates is facetime now facetime received quite a bit of improvements here spatial audio for group chats is now available for FaceTime. So if you don't know what spatial audio is, is sort of a multi-dimensional listening experience, I guess you can call it, or a 3D listening experience, where if someone is talking onto your right or to your left, the sound is actually coming from that direction. Apple has already done this for music and other media. It's now implemented within FaceTime call, which is of course a welcome addition. Uh, portrait mode is now available for FaceTime as well. So remember taking portrait photos on the iPhone where the background just blurs and the subject is is in full focus well that's now the case for facetime as well portrait mode support for facetime is now here as well as the ability to focus the microphones on your voice and apple has demonstrated this on the keynote i'll link everything down below it's a really cool technology which isn't working perfectly as of yet as i mentioned this is beta one but apple has done a great job on the microphone feature for ios 15 as well on facetime calls now there's also support for FaceTime links. Now, for those of you that do not know, links for FaceTime is pretty much like scheduling a group FaceTime call. And not only does this work for iPhone users, but it also works for Android and Windows users as well. So if you send someone with an Android device or a Windows machine, this link for FaceTime, they can actually join the group FaceTime call through their browser on their devices. Now, there's also SharePlay for FaceTime. So if you're watching a movie, listening to music, watching a TV show, SharePlay allows you to share music, media, or any media with anyone else. So if you want to watch a movie with a friend, you can do that now in real time, interact and message back and forth. And you can also share your screen as you're browsing your screen with another person with FaceTime. So one of the biggest updates to the iPhone this year is definitely FaceTime, and I'm loving what Apple is doing. Now, Messages also received a pretty decent update this year. Now, Apple did not bring iMessage to Android yet, but did receive quite a bit of improvements. There's a new feature called Shared With You, and this new feature allows other contacts to share with you things within Messages 
things like photos, uh, Safari links, things from music. And uh, let's say, for example, someone shares this album with you through the Messages platform. When you go into Apple Music, if you like that album, it will let you know here that that album was shared and the person that shared it with you. And that way you can go back and interact in case you forgot that person shared that album with you. So that is shared with you. The same thing applies with photos and photo albums. As you can see, there's also a new UI here. So when you receive photos, if you get a photo album, you can actually swipe through it directly within the iMessage platform. And as I mentioned, let's say someone sends a news article, you go into your news application, it'll remind you that someone within Messages has shared it with you. There's also some new options for Memojis as well within iOS 15. You can actually customize even further your Memoji character, and that's going to be on my in-depth coverage of iOS 15. I just want to give you guys a quick walkthrough on this video here, but there's just so much to look forward to here in terms of customizations for your Memoji emoji within iOS 15 and we talked about this before the software was announced but yeah you can further customize your Memoji within iOS 15 I really wanted Apple to launch a separate Memoji application but that's always still a possibility keep in mind this is still in beta stages but yeah you have more accessibility features and options built into the Memoji uh, as well so messages did get a revamp there's also improvements within the messaging notification system so notifications are now more uh, streamlined they look nicer they look uh, slimmer in my opinion so let's go ahead and send a message here to this phone and take a look at the new uh, notification banner so the new notification banner see it right there is sort of slimmed down and you have it right there it pops right into place it looks really nice in my opinion a lot nicer than it did before and of course there's a new option within the settings application which is pretty much expanding on do not disturb so it is called focus and this is a big one apple announced this one today you still have your do not disturb options and features which have been revamped and improved as well but you also have your focused options where you can set different modes for different contexts so you have your personal modes you have your sleep walk away you can also create even more options so let's say you're driving you can send an auto reply to your contacts that are trying to contact you when you're driving it'll know when you're driving uh, fitness as well gaming reading and you can customize and create your own mode so you can have different auto reply messages be sent to contacts when you're in focus mode now do not disturb also receive the revamp here allow notifications options you can now choose people as you can see right here so you can choose someone from your contacts and allow notifications from that person and or application you can also choose an app so when you're in focus or downtime those notifications that only show up for the people and apps that you choose now there's also time sensitive notifications for do not disturb so for example if you order food and the food uh, delivery person is at the door if you turn this on here time sensitive notifications will still appear on your screen even though you have do not disturb enabled so you don't miss the chance of the food being delivered or let's say someone's in the front door and the camera detects motion that's also a time sensitive notification that can also be turned on right there from the time sensitive notifications. Now share focus status here. This one is so other users within iOS 15 know either you're driving, you're sleeping, you're in school, you're at work, whichever, this allows that to let them know as well. Now there's also home screen modifications that you can do so you can customize different versions of your home screen pretty much. So different sections of your home screen, particularly focused on your particular activity at the moment. So if you're at the gym, you'll get some uh, widgets for gym workout equipment and things like that. If you're sleeping, you may get the uh, sleep tracking widget on the home screen with other settings and options. This option isn't fully working as of yet, but of course it is beta one. We'll have to wait and see what Apple continues to do with this particular option here. You also have dim the lock screen, delay delivery here for notifications, and you can even hide notification badges when do not disturb. So Apple really went all out here 
with a defocus and do not disturb features we also have some smart activities here as well where you can set if you're at the gym it also sets different types of delay or notifications for do not disturb and also set times based on location just a lot going on again a quick first look at the software i'll go really in depth so make sure to subscribe for a lot of content on the, this particular section here i think apple did a fantastic job here if we click on personal here you see right there that it silenced the notifications but only for the people that you don't want uh, don't miss here this one is for the section that we just talked about the time sensitive notifications share your status of course and turn on automatically based on locations so different notifications for different things i think it's really cool same thing applies as we just mentioned for sleep same thing applies for work and any other activity that you may want to set custom notifications or do not disturb settings for you also have a force of phone calls so you can restrict phone calls from coming in from particular contacts as well that's already been added to ios 14 but it's now refined with ios 15 as well so a lot going on in terms of focus and notifications another thing that we notice right away is here we sort of have this blocky uh, looking interface here which to me looks a lot nicer it's sort of squared out instead of going all the way outside to the edges you see the difference there so there you guys go something slightly different within the ui as well that's noticeable within settings and other menus throughout the os now there's some really really advancements here to the photos application so for example we have new options for photos this is my dog nacho right here and if we tap this little eye icon at the bottom here if we click here we see some more information where the picture was taking the phone that took the picture the camera or filter that was used and you see this little paw right there it automatically identifies that it is a dog you tap into that and it gives you details and information right there a siberian husky it gives you information about the breed and this works throughout many many other parts of the os so for example if you see a flower in a photo you can also use this feature a place a book a person anything like that can be identified you get all the details within the photo about the person or whatever it is that you're looking to identify now there's also uh, also text recognition so for example even though this image here is a screenshot i can actually press and hold and it detects the word and i can click translate here and you can see that it actually translates into the language that i prefer from english it detects the language by the way and then you can translate it to wherever language you choose you can click play right there and you can also download other languages to identify text within the actual images and photos so a lot of cool stuff happening in photos as well i have an in-depth video entirely in photos coming up in the next week or so so make sure to stay tuned because there's a lot happening there as well in terms of memories and music integration within photos that's also available here with ios 15. now i also want to quickly talk about the wallet application because apple is making a big leap and a big move within the wallet application now apple has added some transit cards that you can add into the wallet application so you can go ahead and catch a ride and so forth different countries gap was adding but later this year around the september time frame for participating states you'll be able to scan your driver's license and have your driver's license within the wallet of your iphone so yeah looking forward to that one that's one that i was looking forward for apple to add and definitely apple has added that to ios 15. now i'm sure if you've noticed this new widget on the home screen here apple did add a new widgets to ios 15. now unfortunately or at least not yet we haven't got any interactive widgets such as media controls for the music widget and so forth uh, but we did get a few new ones here we did get a new sleep widget available a game center widget is now available emails widget we also have the find my new calendar variant widget there as well a new clock and app store as i mentioned so if we go into the actual widget pane here we have a quick look here at the app store widget we have several sizes three sizes to choose from for the new app store widget if we scroll down here we also have one new variant for the clock widget which is that one there date and time we also as i mentioned have a new game center widget this one offers a various options right here as you can see new options available for that one that one offers up to six we also have sleep widget so a new sleep widget is available this one only has one available hopefully that will change in the future and as i mentioned there's also a new mail widget option available right here two different options for emails widget as well so no interactive widgets at least not yet but we did get different variants of the existing widgets and a 
new widget options available for widgets in iOS 15. Now there's been some updates to the weather application. Of course, new UI for the weather. You can see right there, new elements as well. If we tap into this here, we have a new UI. We have the temperatures being displayed here. We can also go precipitation, air quality, and so forth. As you can see right there, different layers for the weather application within iOS 15, a new UI, a cleaner UI as well, which I'm definitely digging for the weather application. I think Apple could do a little more within the weather application, but at least they did a little something. There's also new updates to the maps application. So there's also improvements to maps as well. So if we tap up here, you see here we have uh, choose different maps here, different map options. There's also a lot of features that are just simply not working within the actual maps application, but Apple has updated the entire UI for the Maps application. And Apple Maps hasn't really been my best and favorite mapping solution uh, for quite some time, but I will give it a go with iOS 15 to see what Apple uh, continues to do with this one. Now, there's also a new wallpaper available here. So if we head on over to the wallpapers categories here, and we go to the wallpapers, we have one new one, the one that I'm rocking on this device. There it is. You have the light and dark mode variant of that one available as well. Siri has gotten better at doing machine learning on device. So Siri slightly faster and Siri, the icon there has changed a bit as well. In messages here, we have the new iMessage options, which we have the new focus options available here. There's just a lot going on here. I just wanted to give you guys a quick overall view. This video is going over 16 minutes, but I wanted to share with you guys as much as possible in one single video, but there's a lot to talk about. So make sure to stay tuned here to the channel. Coming up will be additional new features, additional changes within the software. I also want to talk about secret features within the software. I also want to talk about older devices and performance. There's just a lot. So make sure to subscribe, turn on notifications. Let me know what you think about iOS 15 so far. If you installed it on your device, are you looking forward to installing it? And was it a letdown for you or are you loving the new software? I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys real soon. Peace.